Hello, welcome back. I'm Nine News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Kathy Sabin on a beautiful fall day. Thankfully, no record high temperatures to report, at least so far. We had a cool front literally blow in around midday today, and that brought temperatures down out of the 90s into the mid 80s today, and we'll have an even cooler Tuesday coming in as we welcome in the month of October. In the meantime, terrific travel conditions on I-25 and I-70 are high at 85, but the front has just barely pushed through Colorado. Spring, so temperatures in southeastern Colorado still above average in the mid 90s there and out across the western slope. At the airport, our official observation site, we've been tracking the wind along with the warmth. We have nine days now in September with 90 or better, bringing the seasonal total to 64 days. And this does put us in the top five for warmest summers on record. So certainly the warmth and the dryness, the low humidity like we're seeing this hour, and the wind, it's something we're talking about in terms of elevated fire danger. The wind out of the northeast signaling the arrival of that front, which is moving from north to south. Red flag warnings have been posted north and east of us, and Colorado will see more of the state included in fire weather watch and warning criteria as humidity values continue to drop. The wind, thankfully, will ease now that the front has dropped through, but tomorrow, a fire weather watch from Lyman up to the Fort Morgan area and up in Jackson and Grand Counties. We also have fire weather warnings out for Wyoming and Nebraska, all because of a dominant ridge of high pressure extending from California through Colorado into Texas. And this dominant ridge is not allowing for any major pattern shifts, just these weak little short waves that are coming through like the one we saw today and limited moisture underneath the ridge for showers or storms to track. So we continue to track the remnants of Helene moving toward the northeast and the Atlantic. We expect a hurricane may be developing in the Atlantic this week and another tropical wave could be headed for the Gulf. So these are areas that are in no way prepared to have more rain or any type of tropical system. So we'll be monitoring this forecast and the impact of those potential tropical systems as we move through the second half of this week. Isolated showers tracking from the northwest to the south, and they're very limited. So the heavy rain that will impact travel will be for those of you headed out of Colorado towards Cincinnati, New York, Washington, and down into northern Florida, where temperatures will be running below low average with this trough carving out across the Midwest. Our front today will keep temperatures in the 70s tomorrow. Average high is about 74, so we're right in that territory. There may be a few high clouds coming in. Less wind is expected, but unfortunately no rain that will be significant or a difference maker for us. So we have lows tonight in the 40s for northeastern Colorado, 50s out across the western slope. High temperatures tomorrow, mid 70s for Denver, Greeley and Fort Collins and 60s in the mountains with some of the front range foothill numbers coming in at 73 for Evergreen and 70 in Nederland. City forecast for this the last full evening of September. Fair skies, lighter winds and 42. Tomorrow's sunshine, it will feel a bit more like fall with highs in the 70s. A beautiful day to be out and about. But then here we go. Wednesday, a potential record tying high or record breaking high as we see a high of 89 on Wednesday followed by a slight cool down, a slight warm up heading into the weekend but notice no significant precipitation. Looking far and wide for that rain and snow, it's not there yet. So in the meantime, enjoy beautiful views like this and share the pictures with us, if you will.